guys, welcome back to Anna's Artsy Nails. I just ordered these four new stamping gels for my nail plates. It usually works pretty good with regular nail polish, but it, it just wasn't working well with some of them. Here are some of the nail plates. It would do fine with some of the larger designs, but not the small detailed ones. So hopefully these will fix that problem. Okay, so let's get started. So I ordered these four colors off of Amazon. It should be black, white, gold, and silver. Let's see, this one is the black. Black tulip. Let's see what color number 13 is. It looks like it's going to be white. Yep, it's the white. The name is White Lotus. Okay, on to number 10. Having a little trouble opening this. Okay, there it goes. And this looks like the gold. White gold. On to number 11. And this is silver. So I've got all of my colors. So here are my three nail plates again. I will be showing all four of these colors. And they are gel colors, so I will have to put them under a UV light. Some of you might have noticed that I have five different colors painted on my nails. That's so we can see different designs for each nail. So, let's get started! So, we just squeeze a little bit of nail polish at the top, and then take our little scraper tool and scrape down to pull the nail polish through the whole design. Then we stamp it onto our nail. Okay, after putting it under the UV lamp for 30 seconds, it looks like it transferred really well. A lot better than regular nail polish. Okay, on to our next design. I'll be using the silver flower on the tiny little heart design. Again, just squeeze the nail polish and scrape it. And take your little stamp. These are transferring really well. Okay, I, sorry, I can't get a very good picture with this because the design is like pencil thin. But you should be able to see this next one. So I, I don't want that on there, so let's just scrape that off. Okay. So, I'm so glad I have this clear stamper so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now for the top coat. I think in the future I'll use black for the pencil thin designs because the metallic just doesn't really show up very well. Okay, on to the next nail. For this one, I'm planning on doing like a red and gold curtain effect, so let's see how that turns out. I was expecting this to be more of a yellow gold, but it says white gold, so it might turn out looking a little silvery and might not look right with this red, but let's see. So yes, the white gold looks a little silvery to me, but it transfers really well. Okay, on to the next design. I'm using the white lotus color with the feathers. And let's see how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to stamp the feathers onto my thumbnail because I did like a peacock color for that. And peacocks have feathers, so... Oops, got a little off. And that's what nail tape is for. Okay, on to my favorite design. Okay, with this design, it's so thin and detailed that it would never work with the regular nail polish because it would dry too quickly. So I'm hoping this turns out better than that. Now I just need to position it onto my nail, and there we go. 
Okay, some of these turned out really well, and I will probably be using them in future videos. Don't forget to visit my Instagram to vote for future nail videos, and comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all next time!